to tell her the truth. I told her, if I take you to my home, you will not believe it. You will not believe it. Me, the poor man, you know, you must kill it with this one. I decided to tell her the truth. There's one politician who says I am truthful man, but <laughs> I decided to be truthful and I told her what I, I was earning and from that time things started going down to the point where she told me I think I'm in the wrong relationship. <laughs> And I said, okay, so be it. One as well, sir. Thank God she did not uh, get my life. Because uh, life is not uh, all about what you have. There's more to life than substances. One as well, sir. And so God is faithful. There are some people here who know what God has said. And I'm here to affirm it. God will do it in Jesus' name. Mungu wa na atatenda. And there are many singers who have sung songs to affirm God's faithfulness. And so I am here also as a preacher to declare God is faithful. He will do it. He may tally. You know, this one took a bit, a, a bit of time. 40 years and even plus because he had said it even before the journey began. But finally, he was able to bring it to accomplishment. And so God is so faithful. Another lesson I realize uh, God is bringing it to us through this text is that uh, the success of a believer is determined by his or her obedience. The success of a believer is determined by their faithfulness. That is why God is telling Joshua, be careful to obey what I tell you today. Be careful to obey the law. Be careful to do the right thing. Then you will have good success. So your success depends on your faithfulness to God. God exhorts those who are faithful and he even rejects those who may be unfaithful. That is God himself. Has he, has he done it before? Yes. Uh, those who have done the uh, some theology and uh, you have discussed about the, the David's leadership. God upheld David's leadership because of his uh, closeness to God, his obedience and actually during his time there is uh, what we call the golden age. During David's time the land prospered, there were no wars, there, were, there was you know spiritual revival, there was economic revival and everything was just uh, moving nicely, nicely because of uh, David's obedience. And so I am here to declare as a man of God that if you want to be successful, may you walk in obedience to God. Come on, nataka kufaudu. Katika maisha yako, katika biashara yako, katika familia yako, katika mahali pako pa kazi. Timu and you will accord you. Joshua was given a blank check to decide how he was going to handle life. He was to be obedient, he was to be successful. But he was to walk in this disobedience, he was going to be unsuccessful. And on the other side, God rejected King Saul. That one, uh, I know some people have read it in the Bible. And he also rejected Ella, the high priest. Why? Because of disobedience. And so God is warning Joshua, make sure you are obedient so that you may be successful in whatever you are going to do. And that lesson is God expects leaders to be strong and courageous. Third lesson from this, God expects leaders to be strong and courageous. Let me tell you, this life is never easy. It is not easy. And if you want to be successful, you have to be strong. Tell your neighbor, be strong. Be strong. 
I don't know whether you noted that it has been repeated three times. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. From verse 6 to verse 9. Verse 6 says it. Uh, verse 7 says it. Verse 8 it is not there. Verse 9 it is there. Be strong and courageous. I pray that you don't you don't walk cowardly. This life. Just begin from verse 6. Verse 6. Be strong and courageous because you will leave these people to inherit the land I saw to their ancestors to give them. That is God speaking. Verse 7. Be strong and very. Actually, the word very has been added. And very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may be successful wherever you, you go.